Welcome to Vizeme University of Applied Science. My name is Gatis Kruminch. I am rector of university. It will be our pleasure to show you everything that we have in our universities. Laboratories, facilities, classrooms for supporting our research. We have excellent infrastructure and we will show you that. Follow me. We are in a multimedia laboratory of our university and because of equipment of this laboratory we can do really amazing, beautiful, interdisciplinary things. I will give you just one example about my book. We published this book in this year, uh, Founders and Renewers of Republic Latvia. This is not only a printed book, but the book has a large digital version and I will show how, how it works. We created more than 30 videos here in this book, interviews with former uh, members of parliament and uh, uh, summary of book. And this really is useful if you transfer your knowledge to young generation. And just uh, when you started, for example, this uh, scan with your mobile phone with this application, uh, video will start summary. In four minutes you will have all uh, content of this book. So, yes, please. And uh, this is only one example, yeah, how you can merge together humanity, social science and technologies. And it's really useful. And I'm really happy to use everything that we have here in our university. Uh, the multimedia laboratory at Widzem University works in four different directions. First, it is a, a platform where our researchers, uh, which our researchers can, can use for communicating their scientific uh, uh, results, their uh, science achievements. Second, it is a place where our uh, teachers can, um, can use it for, for modernizing their uh, teaching methods, uh, creating uh, audiovisual materials that supplement both the face-to-face -face lectures and also our remote teaching. Uh, third, uh, it is a, um, a tool and um, a platform that can be used by our marketing people and other uh, uh, staff members who are uh, involved in the brand uh, building of Vizemi University. And fourth, uh, finally, it is also a, 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 a platform for our students uh, to um, gain and to develop their uh, multimedia creation uh, skills and to work in uh, different projects together with our researchers, uh, uh, make their own uh, projects and, um, and um, and uh, work in such such way. Uh, Vitsemi University is one of the most active media literacy promoters uh, since 2016 actually and uh, during that initiative we have used this laboratory for creating different uh, multimedia materials both uh, for debunking uh, various uh, myths about our history, about uh, the current uh, uh, events in, in Latvia and also creating different uh, learning materials for various audiences such as uh, journalists, uh, school uh, students and, and others. Uh, speaking about the laboratory as such, it uh, consists of two different uh, things. First is this uh, filming studio where we are at the moment. Uh, where we have uh, both the opportunity to film with the green screen, we, we converted it very easily uh, for uh, um, organizing and um, both recording and the live streaming uh, different discussions, interviews and other uh, uh, TV formats. And then uh, second is this uh, computer class uh, which can be used for editing uh, the recorded material. And uh, the latest, uh, latest development, the additional thing that we have at the multimedia laboratory is a small sound recording uh, studio. We are at the laboratory of virtual and augmented reality technologies. Here we design and develop 3D interactive environments, mostly used for uh, industrial training, safety training, but also for educational purposes in schools, physics, mathematics, chemistry, how we can provide laboratory works also for students. Our basic novelty is uh, development of interactive in my environments and the dynamic generation of scenarios for individuality. Also how instructors can uh, manage contents of those environments. It means you don't need to 
assistance of IT specialists, but you can adjust uh, training scenarios by yourself and also multi-user environments for collaboration purposes among, among students and uh, trainee and uh, also instructor. So here you can see our powerful workstations used for development uh, 3D models and interactive contents. So this laboratory is also connected and used for uh, motion capturing and uh, motion tracking technologies. Here we use a lot of head-mounted displays, input-output devices for uh, interaction with this environment. So basically you replace traditional devices like keyboard and mouse with uh, motion <coughs> capturing devices and also most uh, solutions where we provide virtual reality we use uh, latest uh, head mounting displays for from HTC or Oculus. Uh, our favorite solutions are for augmented reality. The big, uh, latest challenge is uh, to provide operation of this device in outdoor environments so where we need to uh, track uh, users in larger distances. So we use uh, HoloLens, HoloLens 2, also Magic Leap goggles. So here we also have available uh, tracking stations, wireless tracking stations for uh, large outdoor environments. And uh, to provide work of this laboratory for us, it's important also students, their career and uh, I'm also head of master's, uh, master's study program, virtual reality and smart technologies, and our students uh, spend a lot of time in this laboratory to bring the, their ideas in real projects. And I think this very successful uh, approach to develop uh, and provide uh, development of our laboratory. Hi, we're in Vidzeme University of Applied Sciences Makerspace. This is the place where scientists and students and researchers can come together and do their research more deeply and prototype their ideas. Well, we have um, electronics prototyping table here with uh, our power supplies, digital oscilloscopes and uh, soldering stations. Everything you need to create electronics and um, electrical engineering prototypes. And then we have heaps and heaps of uh, mechanical engineering stuff with uh, 3D printers and uh, d yeah, other things like you can come here and uh, 3D print your anything basically. Uh, this is uh, for instance students work, we prototyped, we created this, uh, this holder, we decided it doesn't, doesn't work and we reprinted and we redesigned it and then it fitted our needs. And um, these are mechanical workshop part. You can hammer, you can uh, drill, you can cut and you can uh, grind. And here you can uh, do your uh, CNC milling. Like you can cut uh, from plywood, you can use any other material like uh, fiberglass or, or metal or uh, plastic. And um, this is the place where actually uh, interdisciplinary uh, research can um, can happen. This is where uh, students from social engineering meet uh, IT engineers and uh, for instance our uh, students and researchers from um, from tourism uh, when they have some idea for instance for da data gathering they come here together with uh, IT students. They think of uh, how they will uh, gather data from, uh, from particular tracks in Vidzeme. And uh, then other students, like mechatronic students, they prototype their, um, these devices that will catch the data uh, to be stored on the cloud. And then these uh, scientists, researchers, they will retrack it and, and uh, analyze it later. I have the pleasure to introduce to you our uh, new classroom, uh, which is built according to active learning methodology. But in this case, I would like to tell you more 
uh, of this classroom as support infrastructure for cooperation and collaboration. So this is a place where we expect that uh, re our researchers can give public lectures. Uh, they can organize a seminar for company representatives. They can organize co-ideation workshop with young people or they can have online meeting with our European university partners or on joint cooperation and multidisciplinary teams. So one thing is we have a central screen, but uh, the main infrastructure is connecting six more team screens uh, together so that we can share um, our individual group work together with the whole classroom uh, and uh, so we can switch from one information to everyone to individual uh, different topics where every group is working on. So that's one of the possibilities uh, where what we can do here. So the idea was to bring the latest technologies, the latest software and design in one place uh, for being more mobile, flexible and innovate together. So when we worked on the concept for this classroom, so we discussed a lot. So what kind of features are very important uh, for working together? And uh, uh, we paid special attention to the sound effects and that's why we have um, bought this acoustic uh, lamps. So in order to reduce noise, then there are a lot of people working in a group. We also discussed a lot about lighting and what kind of lights we put in the classroom because when you work a long time uh, at different screens, so it's very important that uh, uh, for your eyes to get the right light in order you can uh, be productive for a longer period. And of course design, uh, which is created very welcomed uh, so that you can feel creative in this room and it helps for you to work uh, in a teams. Welcome to our library. Our library is a partner for all researchers from Wittsum University of Applied Sciences. We offer them several resources, for example, databases, books and magazines. And these resources are available not only on place, but also remotely. If we don't have some resources here in our library, we can loan them from National Library. Library offers a space for meeting, for creating and also for promoting your research results. For example, exhibitions, book openings and some other activities. Library provides consultations to develop research skills for young researchers and assistance and support for our professors for information gathering. In our library you can also use this acoustic space. This space is for speaking by your mob phone or small Skype conference making. Hello, uh, today we are at Mobile Technology Laboratory at Widzeme University of Applied Sciences. This laboratory is a multidisciplinary laboratory covering a quite wide area of technologies and of course application of them uh, starting from technological solutions up to social aspect solutions. Uh, of course one of the main technologies uh, we are applying here and uh, uh, using uh, is uh, related with mobile technologies, different uh, smartphones, uh, smart devices and, and similar mobile uh, um, hardware as well as uh, we are uh, applying uh, different uh, mechatronic related uh, devices uh, like uh, microcomputers and uh, Arduino boards, uh, uh, some of the robotics, uh, as well as even more and more focusing on research, for example, uh, deploying eye tracking solutions, both in developing applications as well as in the research and analysis of the uh, activities, things and uh, visuals uh, in real life. As far as we know, one of main research methods in social and humanities research is questionnaires. But also we know that in questionnaires people tend to lie. So especially in socio-technical research it is important to use eye tracking because by eye tracking um, people never lie. 
you can actually see where, where they are looking and if you have some further questions you can ask right away and uh, your uh, respondent will uh, answer why he is doing this or that and you will get really good results, uh, true results. Another example of application of eye tracker devices and technology is political advertisements. This is area what our students uh, together with personnel have researched and uh, in particular uh, advertisements on t-shirts. How they are reaching people, minds, uh, how they are perceived and afterwards the analysis have been done and accordant uh, solutions have been suggested. Thank you. This is something what we are doing in uh, research lab of uh, spatial analysis for the regional development. We are dealing with the direction of the visitor flow counting and uh, visitors outdoor and indoor. And this is the history of uh, counting with a mechanical device. And today we do that already with uh, heat map cameras, with visitor counter sensors. Idea why we do that is to ensure the comprehensive visitor flow monitoring for Natura 2000 areas, for example, in uh, specially protected nature territories. And we do uh, it on the case study basis together with the colleagues. Either those are different research projects or some activities together with students, but uh, all the results are uh, stored in the common GIS database. Like the hill fort in the center of the regional city, this is the cultural monument and we have the problem that we don't know how many visitors uh, are coming to this place. And as there are no tickets, we don't uh, know the real visitor flow. So therefore, the outdoor visitor counters are uh, very suitable for this purpose. This is something from field research of Spatial Regional Development uh, Lab and we see several poles with the transmitters and receivers, the sensors, outdoor sensors. The something from older generation, we started with them. We equipped ourselves with the new poles and new sensors. They are already operational about two years and this is something we are developing farther on, uh, making by ourselves the poles here in Valmiera and yeah the sensor is working like receiver and transmitter, two poles at the trails in the outdoor uh, different places and counting the visitor numbers we do the contribution for the field research of uh, visitor monitoring for Natura 2000 areas, for different case studies for the permanent program of uh, outdoor visitor numbers. I'm realizing research project which is targeted to improve quality of life of leg amputees. To do that, I'm developing augmented reality solution and combining it with data from wearables uh, who collect data from your heart rate, from your breathing, uh, muscle activity and um, glucose levels and all the data comes from um, exercises and it's in real time uh, while you perform uh, deep muscle targeted exercises. This solution will be suitable not only for lower limb amputees these uh, muscle problems and functional movement problems are also characteristic for chronic low back pain patients, uh, for diabetes patients, for uh, neur neurology patients. And um, it is aimed to increase motivation and also uh, to obtain objective data. And as we saw in a research study, uh, providing visual feedback during the exercises uh, increases muscle activity for at least 100%. Uh, so the objective real-time data from muscle activity and from breathing and glucose measurements and blood pressure go directly to augmented reality glasses and then during the actual exercise nevertheless if it's uh, sitting down or lying down on your side or back 
uh, you can see precise instructions uh, and real-time feedback on what you're doing and uh, studies proved uh, that receiving the real-time visual feedback actually increases the muscle activity and uh, engagement of the user for 100%. Thank you for your attention. It was a pleasure to show you everything what we have. I hope next time you will see everything what we have with your own eyes. See you. Bye.